do something a little bit different in the vlog. I'm gonna review some Yeezy Boost 350 shoes. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know I love Vans, I love shoes. I'm sort of getting into the sneaker game now. Somebody sent me some Yeezy Boost 350 shoes. I told them I'd review them. If you like kicks and you wanna see how awesome these shoes are, watch this video and enjoy it. Let's do this. So it comes in a random box like this. Nothing to be like super stoked about. It just says Yeezy Boost. Yeezy Boost. All right guys, so about the Yeezy Boosts. Yes, I'm a size 10 and a half. Honestly, I didn't know how they'd fit, so I went smaller and they fit perfect. A brown cardboard box. Tissue paper wrapped around the shoes. All right, so the shoes themselves have pretty awesome shoelaces, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the shoelaces are like this, uh, they're thicker and bigger. They have like an opposite pattern of the shoes, of these, um, which is super, super cool. One thing I love about these shoes, it's like they're just, it looks like it's just poked right through the shoe, the shoelaces. Like there's no rings and it's super minimal, which is totally fun. Another thing I like about the shoe, this stitch down the center is just different and adds a super cool look. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the Nike Roche run, but it looks almost identical to this. I have a pair. These Yeezy boots are like 10 times more comfortable than those Nike Roche shoes. The Roches are awesome and they look super cool, but these are way more comfortable. They have like a little pad in the back here. You can't really see it, but it's like probably a half inch little pad that goes wraps all the way around the ankle piece, which is super comfortable. More loose right here, since it doesn't have that tongue. So slipping them on is way easy, which I love because if you guys watch the vlogs, I hate putting on my shoes and I hate tying them. So these have like literally been my favorite pair of shoes to wear because I just slip them on really quick. With these, whoop. What else about the shoe? Oh, one side of the shoe has this, it's got an Adidas symbol with this like um, suede, suede little patch right here. The, the Yeezy logo, if you can really see that. Super basic. Bottoms, like I said, I've worn them. Just says Adidas Boost. I'm super grateful that I got some boosts, some Yeezy boosts, because I've been wearing them all the time. One thing though I'm trying to find out is, here's the thing, a company sent me these shoes. I think they're real. I'm unsure if they're real or fake. I've looked all over the internet, some of my buddies and I, we, we studied them, we looked up YouTube videos, we checked on Google, um, all the tests that I could see. They, they turned out to be real. I could be totally wrong. If you guys know anything about Yeezys, drop them in the comments below. How can you tell if Yeezys are real or fake? One thing I know is they fit super awesome. They feel great, look extremely real, and the quality is super high. And uh, everything seems to add up on the internet. Like, I think these are legit real Yeezy Boost 350 shoes. Help me be a detective. Are these real or fake? Do you guys have any insights? And if they're fake, what should I do to them? Because I felt like if a company told me to review these Easy Boosts and then they turn out to be fake, I'm gonna do something crazy with them. Drop a comment below. How do you tell if these are real or fake Yeezys? And if they're fake, what should I do with them? Should I keep them, wear them? Should I blow them up? Should I light them on fire? Should I paint them? What should I do? So hope you dug the Yeezy Boost 350 review. See you guys in tomorrow's vlog. I'm out. Peace, fire bliss. Yeah.